Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I have a pattern review, a new pattern release for you guys and it's a really good one especially for this time of year. So um, I just, I don't know, last week, week and a half ago, whatever, two weeks ago maybe now? Anyway. <laughs> Itch to Stitch had reached out to their tester group wanting to know if anyone would be available to test some pajamas, a pajama pattern. I immediately said, yes, I need new pajamas. <laughs> yes, I'll, I'm very interested in doing it. And when I saw the line drawings, I was not disappointed. So these are the Pinecone Cove uh, pajama set and it is so good. So it is a top and bottom, I'll put the um, line drawings <laughs> right here. So obviously it's a top and bottom set, but instead of being just like your regular button up, you know, with the collar, um, like old man type pajama, um, classic, you know, button up pajamas, it has a twist because you've got this really beautiful um, tied top. So a wrap top basically with a really cute little pocket that is the perfect size for your phone. <laughs> um, so yes, I loved that it was different than your typical just button up pajamas, but still kind of had that same um, idea. So let's talk about the pattern a little bit and then I'm gonna talk about fabric. All right, so the pattern. Um, again, like I said, it's got this beautiful wrap detail. So it's got the tie on the outside and it's got the same, there's the tie also on the inside that keeps that wrap closed. So it's not like a true wrap, like it doesn't have a, you know, on the back, it doesn't have a wrap that goes, you know, a tie that goes all the way around. Um, it ties over to the side. Again, there's this one little asymmetrical pocket. Um, I did mine on the bias since I used a check. Perfect size for your phone. It's so good. Uh, long sleeves. It's got the drop shoulder. It's got a beautiful finished neckline. Everything is finished off real nice and neat on the inside there. Uh, it's got a split hem here at the hip for, where is it? <laughs> for comfort. So it's got really good, uh, her instructions are always, you know, top notch. But, oh my gosh, I would love to show you the side split detail, there it is. So it goes over your hips really comfortably, um, which makes sleeping in it really comfortable as well. Um, what else? It's a pretty quick make. Um, and again, her instructions are just spot on uh, for everything. And another good thing with these ties, I use self fabric because I'll talk about the fabric in a second. My fabric is um, thin, but I'm getting ready to make my daughter a pair in a flannel. Um, because she really wants, I bought some beautiful flannel, um, and I'll be talking about that more in another video, but I bought some beautiful flannel, and she wants this same pair of pajamas. Originally, she wanted button-up pajamas, um, but when I showed her this pattern, she's like, no, I'd like those. Um, but instead of using self-fabric for those ties, I'm going to use twill tape instead in a, um, a complementary color that goes with that plaid. Um, so yeah, so it gives you a lot of different options. I've seen people that use a contrasting fabric. The testers use a contrasting fabric for this neckband that looks beautiful. And I've seen people that have done a contrast in the neckband with matching pants in this contrast and then a print on the top, which looks gorgeous. I mean, there's a lot of customization you can do with this pattern. So that is the top. And then the bottoms are just your standard elastic waist PJ bottoms. There's no pockets. They're just, you know, pajama bottoms, super comfortable, elastic waist. You have them, uh, you top stitch the elastic down, which I think just makes for evenly distribu distributed um, gathers. You know, when you just have a regular elastic waistband, your pants can get moved around there really easily. The elastic can, can twist as well. But mostly like you can get a lot of the volume of the pants on just like one side. It's just hard to get everything evenly distributed and keep it there, especially when it's been washed. But she has great instructions for top stitching it down, which keeps everything in place. And then everything is like evenly distributed because you're stretching as you sew. Um, anyway, just gorgeous. And they're just really comfortable. So when I was asked if I'd be interested, um, you know, to fill in the application for testing this pattern. Um, I am in desperate need, number one, for a nice pair of pajamas that I can wear um, when we're back home with family. So we stay at people's houses a lot when we're going back to visit family in Missouri. We're either staying at my parents' house, my sister's house, or my in-law's house. <laughs> Those are kind of all the houses we stay at. So obviously I need nice pajamas that, so I don't have to like, get dressed for the day when I wake up, you know? They're family, but I still, I mean, I don't want to be like in a skimpy nightgown, you know? Um, so I am in need for warm pajamas that I can wear in the winter, number one, but not too warm because I get hot at night. <laughs> My daughter wants flannel. I did not want flannel. Um, and number two, something that'd be easy for me to pack when we're going back and forth to visit family and also just for here around the house as well. Um, 
but I wanted it to look wintry. So I found this crinkle shirting from Stylemaker Fabrics and I wanna talk about the customer service at Stylemaker Fabrics. So I bought this fabric um, with my own money, um, but I contacted Michelle who owns Stylemaker Fabrics and asked her, I was looking at um, the crinkle shirtings. I told her I wanted something that looked wintry, something in a plaid or a check or something that was um, darker colors, but that was not flannel because I get hot at night. So something that would be natural, allow it, you know, me to breathe um, and be comfortable to wear at night because I get hot. I'm sure I'm not alone on that. <laughs> Um, but still be presentable, um, you know, walking around the house. And I said, I was looking at this, do you think that this would work? So she answered back pretty much immediately and said, yes, I think that would be great for what you're wanting. And then I told her I was also looking for a very packable robe. So did she think that any of her sweater knits, um, you know, would match color wise? And she emailed me back and said, yes, this one would be wonderful, like they go really well together. So if you have an issue with buying fabric online, style make, and I'm sure a lot of fabric shops are this way, I just, I don't know, um, I have a relationship with Michelle since having, you know, doing the, her um, fabric style tour, but anyone can email, I mean, that's something very easily, um, I'm just very impressed with her um, customer service. And again, I paid for all of this, I was not gifted any of this. Um, but she sent me this beautiful sweater knit that is going to become a robe at some point, it's just not yet. So um, it, they go, it, this looks a little more pink on camera, but in person, because this is heathered, they go really well together. So this is gonna be a lightweight robe eventually that's gonna go with these PJs for traveling. Um, just, it hasn't been turned into that yet. Um, but this crinkle shirting is perfect and it comes in another co colorway too. And I'll link, actually I'll link both of these, um, both this sweater knit and this fabric down below. But this one also comes in a teal and navy, I think it's teal, or like a pine green kind of a navy um, colorway as well, which is also beautiful. But if you get hot, it almost feels like, a, it almost looks like a seersucker, almost. Um, but with the, it's a, a crinkle cotton. Um, and it's in a shirt, it's in the shirting, but it's wide. It's like a 54, 56 inch wide fabric. Um, so I was able to get, this is a kind of a fabric hungry pattern, especially if you're using a check like I did. Um, I think I needed four yards of fabric um, for all of this. So it's a little fabric hungry, but oh my gosh, it's so comfortable and perfect for what I was wanting for a pair of winter PJs for me. And like I said, I also bought some flannel from Stylemaker for my um, kids actually for matching PJs, but we'll talk about that more in another video. <laughs> So there you have it. These are my Pinecone Cove um, uh, pajamas. I'm so excited. It's a fantastic pattern if you are wanting to um, make anything for family members for the for the holidays going forward, because again, it's a pretty easy make. Um, this does not have cup sizes, and it does come in her extended size range, but it does not have cup sizes just because it's so um, uh, loose and, um, you know, not form fitting or anything, um, but it does come in her full new extended size range. Um, so yeah, definitely check the hashtag on Instagram for all the tester versions. Um, and then Kenneth is always really good about putting the tester versions on the um, actual listing uh, for the pattern as well. Um, and she'll have a blog post and stuff with all the pattern testers. So definitely go have a look because there are a lot of really good renditions of that as well. And stay tuned for the robe that is coming soon. <laughs> that I'll be making um, to go with my set um, when I get a minute to do that. Um, no rush, uh, but I would like a robe preferably before the Christmas season. So we'll see if that happens. But there you have it guys. The pattern is on sale for right now. So definitely go have a, uh, a look see. I do have an affiliate link for it down below, which means I do make a small commission if you purchase it through that link just for full transparency. All right guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys are having a great one and I will see you soon. Bye.